A warm welcome to your midweek or the history evening news update for Wednesday, March 30. Health authorities today served notice that COVID-19 cases are up. At a press conference today, Senior Medical Officer of Health Dr. Arthur Phillips said they are closely monitoring the situation but there will be no change in protocols at this time. He urged the public to stick to the established measures to protect themselves and prevent further spread. So, for example, the new cases for the week ending March 27th are 40% higher than for the previous week and they are effective or the average number of cases generated by each person is 1.35. So if you have 100 cases, we would expect that you would get 136 more cases following. The seven day uh, positivity average rate has increased from 12% to 15.9% and the prevalence, so the number of persons in the community, the proportion of the population who have active COVID infection also appears to be increasing. So these increases that we're seeing could ref reflect increased transmission due to factors around increased effective contact between individuals, as well as um, there may be changes in the infection that is present. Dr. Phillips said the ministry is also investigating whether the new Omicron variant, BA2, is in Barbados. We have selected samples which will be tested by CARFA to facilitate sequencing and confirm the current variant situation in Barbados. Even as authorities keep an eye on the spike in infections, they are also reporting more deaths. Chief Medical Officer, the Most Honorable Dr. Kenneth George, told the press conference the deaths were discovered after the coroner's office conducted testing on persons who died suddenly in the community. The positive results were obtained from tests carried out by the coroner's office on the suspicion that their sudden demise may have been attributed to COVID-19. The policy of the coroner's office is to rule out COVID-19 as a likely cause of death since autopsies cannot be performed on persons who are known to have died from or with COVID. The test results from the coroner's office has identified an additional 43 COVID-related deaths which have occurred within the last six months. These persons died in communities across Barbados before being tested or assessed for, with appropriate care. In today's COVID-19 update, the Best Santos Public Health Laboratory recorded 218 new COVID-19 cases, 106 males and 112 females, from the 1,043 tests conducted on Tuesday. The positive cases consisted of 45 persons under the age of 18 and 173 who were 18 years and older. A total of 47 people were in isolation facilities, while 1,175 were in home isolation. There were 43 COVID-19-related community deaths in the last six months, and as a result, the number of deaths from the virus stand at 374. Water woes in St. Andrew today prevented neighbors from saving the home of a family of three when fire struck at White Hill. Keisha Tyson, who lived at the house for some 18 years, lost all her possessions and frustrated resident Lawson Reed suggested the situation may not have been so bad if they had water. No water at all. I did hear too many defense. And I see the black smoke. I have to be somebody burning church. I said, no, I can't be in the church. When they peep, when they went around the corner, then they look. I see the fire can tree house. I see what that guy be that girl who's burning. But no water. Not a drop of water. Not a f I in the the people now the smoke and the I could hear like the people from down the other side hollering and one of the boy in the house. I had to tell them and no he gone out to school call. Why say they hear trimming the fence? I see when he passed up. Okay. Yeah. And but the problem is is with water. If, if, if a fella, if you have water, no, a fella could have said, go and say, try to help, assist and help, help battle the left, fire to the, to the fire, fire truck come. 
Tyson is struggling to come to terms with the loss. No, nobody was in that one. So there's absolutely no idea what could have caused it? No, no idea. Okay. How long have you lived here and how many people actually lived in the home with you? Well, I lived there for nearly 18 years now. It's me, Jason Weeks, and my son, Kiran Tyson Weeks. Mm -hmm. um, What was saying? No? Everything's gone. Yeah, everything. So, any idea who you can reach out to, family members, anything like that, right now? Not, not at the moment. Then can't kind of my. If I feel lost, I feel like I'm be here. Then, like just everything that's happening around me, and I'm really a part of it. Like I catch myself here, or I really like. Grab the fat out, what really know happened here, that kind of thing. I lost the words. Ryan Allen is also devastated by the fire. It, I was getting my hair black and black rock. I'm not even finish yet. I was thinking when I get the phone call, my house on fire. I like, I just tell the lady to stop. I got, I, I, the girls tell me go, 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 see what's going on. I got in my car and I try straight for home. I ain't want to hear nothing. Like, I get straight for home. So then you could come to this to see that. My cousin, my child, my Lakeisha Tyson, house. She lost everything. Uh, so I got damaged on the, on, the, on the flooring, on the inside, and I ain't sure what else, but you know the smoke higher. So I will have to go and see what other damages I got. But apart from it being your house, you also operate your barbershop there? Yes, please. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. So you think that some of that stuff is lost and it's going to put you back business wise? Well, a little bit more, see, material wise, is flooring and other parts of the structure are damaged. The family is however in line to receive assistance. St. Andrew MP Dr. Ramel Springer has already reached out for help. I've spoken to um, persons from both households. Uh, on my way here I reached out to Minister Humphrey and he indicated to me that they have already started the process of um, putting resources in place to ensure that these persons are, are housed this afternoon. Additionally, I've reached out to a charity that has indicated to me that they can also provide um, the, the, the victims with some clothing, clothing items, uh, household items, and stuff like that, as soon as they're, they're settled, of course. So we're working on getting them some accommodations for tonight because obviously one house has been uh, totally destroyed and the other one seems to be extensively destroyed. So. They're definitely going to need some place to stay this afternoon. There's regional and international news after this short break. More oxygen means more energy, means more adventure. Cure Oxygen, natural spring water infused with more oxygen to improve your energy, immunity and performance. The next generation of hydration. Pure Oxygen, nature's ultimate water. Caribbean Cool is a refreshing juice drink that contains 100% vitamin C that you can enjoy any time of the day. It has a refreshingly awesome range of Caribbean flavors. Moby, orange, fruit punch, pineapple, sorrel, and pineapple coconut. Suitable for any occasion. Caribbean Cool. Regional news in Jamaica, Carnival is on this year after a two-year break. Authorities announced that the Carnival season will begin in July. Sandy Williams of Television Jamaica reports. The road parade will take place on July 10 in Kingston. Director at Bacchanal, Michael Amar, welcomes the announcement as the entertainment industry suffered a significant economic blow due to the pandemic. The last two years has devastated the entertainment industry. Not only Carnival, but everybody in entertainment entertainment industry and it has been especially hard hit um, on Carnival because it shut us down right in the middle of our execution. So we had actually expended huge amounts of money and were about to start getting in the revenue when it was cancelled. Well, Bacchanal is very excited at this, um, at, at this announcement and we look forward to staging a fantastic Carnival in July for many, many fans who have stuck with us through the last two years.
Bacchanal is one of the bands that is preparing for the season. Picking up where it left off in 2019, Bacchanal will start the summer festivities with rum for breakfast on June 25 at Hope Zoo. Though the COVID-19 restrictions have been relaxed, Mr. Amar says protocols will be put in place to ensure the safety of revelers. Um, where we left off was the preview to Carnival, so we're really going straight into the meat of Carnival. Rum for breakfast, premium, Bacchanal Juve, and the Bacchanal Road March, our four biggest events. Yes, um, Bacchanal is very conscious about the safety and health of our um, customers and staff. And we are going to be putting protocols in place to ensure that everybody coming to our events is as safe as possible. On the international front, there has been more Russian bombardment around Ukraine's capital Kiev and other areas. Despite assurances from Moscow, it would reduce military activity. Al Jazeera's Imran Khan reports. Smoke disappears into the sky after yet another night of destruction in towns around the capital Kiev. It's from places like this that Russian military commanders say they will withdraw from part of an agreement made with Ukraine during talks in Turkey on Tuesday. This Ukrainian commander says some Russians are withdrawing. There are some signs they are maneuvering. There are signs of withdrawal, but the situation is unclear because we cannot trust them. So we will observe. The Russian soldier never just withdraws. They steal and loot, and we have evidence of that happening. These people have fled their homes and have come to Brovary Town Hall to register as evacuees. They welcome the Russian withdrawal announcement and hope to return home. But they have no idea whether the home survived the missiles, rockets and artillery shells. We will definitely go home and rebuild our city because it's our home. <laughs> definitely. It's very painful to be in a strange place with strangers. I really just want to go home. The Russian withdrawal plan has been met with skepticism as Russian selling continues and scenes like this occur every day. This warehouse was hit in the early hours of Wednesday morning. It's actually the third time the warehouse has been hit by shelling. Now, President Vladimir Zelensky welcomes the Russian moves. He says that they're positive, but he also says they don't drown out the sound of the shelling. That's news, but for the very latest, visit our website at www.barbidistoday.bb. You can also subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. And sign up for our breaking news alerts via WhatsApp. We're also on Izumi Media and Bus Terminals, as well as Screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. You can also hear us on Mix 96.9 FM and Capital Media HD 99.3 FM.